let's talk a little bit about the text box control uh, so we can add add it to our Windows form application and uh, in, in a way we get uh, user input using a text box it's by no means the only way of getting user input but it is definitely one way so create new project name it um, my name my name there we go okay there is our form one I'm gonna go ahead and go into toolbox right now and add a text box where's the text box under T for text box there we go click drag boom there's a text box right there okay so uh, that, that's what, what, what does that do what is the text box okay I'm um, gonna go ahead and click form and set this to center screen okay um, that's just so it centers on my screen now I hit play what's the text box text box um, hello I can type things in the text box but if I hit enter nothing happens well okay um, so what do we do well I'm gonna go back here well what, what what do we want to do we want to have the text box have some user input so let's make a label and this label is gonna say what is your name question mark see there we go and then we're gonna have a label below and we're gonna leave that label blank but we're gonna call it um, under name we're gonna call it LBL greeting because we're gonna use that in just a second okay so we have what is your name LBL greeting all like that um, and we're gonna move it there we go I'm gonna make a slightly smaller application there we go awesome okay so right now we have two labels one right there called LBL name one right there we don't care what that one's called because that's not gonna change and we have a text box we should give this text box a name too uh, let's see name now for text boxes it's txt and I'm just gonna call it input since this is gonna be our only um, user input now when the user fills something in the box we can, we can handle that event in a number of ways but what we're gonna do right now is we are gonna use a button we're gonna use a button in order to um, establish that the user is done filling things in okay so here's our button I'm gonna go back into properties uh, okay and btn submit okay and remember how we did the uh, button click event we're just gonna double click here this time and uh, when button submit is clicked uh, lbl dot whoa lbl dot cre lbl greeting dot text will be equal to hello plus txt input that's where the user types something in dot text there we go now okay l l let's let's see if this works I hit play and what is your name I don't know uh, Henry sure okay and it says hello Henry okay so that's a basic way of getting user input now we're not done with text box the text box just yet let's mess around with it a little bit more what can we do 
Well, I went here into my, I clicked on my text box, I went here into my events, and I see here a text change event. Text change, an event raised when the value of the text property is changed on control. So, let's double click that, see what happens. Now, let's see, if text is changed, let's see, lbl greeting dot text, we'll set it to, um, is your name plus txt input dot text plus question mark. Let's see if that works. Okay, so I start typing G E O R G E, and you see immediately it starts updating right here as soon as I'm typing it. So that's a different way of handling text entry. But what happens when I click OK? Hello, George. So what would be appropriate for that? Uh, let's see, maybe if we made, if we found this label, moved it up here, move this a little down, move this label a little down, there we go, and change the text of this button to yes okay that seems more appropriate check it out I hit play uh, what is your name uh, B O B is your name Bob yes hello Bob so that's another way to handle uh, user interaction now there are lots of other events for you to play around with and they're all listed here in the e events panel and each of them has a convenient description like what happens when the component is clicked uh, when it's double clicked and they're all described for you and basically w when you're programming you think of how you want your uh, program to act and then y you look up the appropriate events and see what you can find because it would take forever to cover them all for um, all the controls and some of them are even similar like for the text box we have click we have double click let's see for the label we also have click and double click you see they carry over from control to control so you should familiarize yourself with some of these events and know that they're out there for you to use should you need them